Hello everyone, welcome to my channel once again. Today I came with one small letter. This is the letter written to the director in community child health service requesting a follow up uh, of two babies vaccination program. So let us see the question, I mean the writing task. Today's date is 25-7-2012. Notes, patient name is Wamiya Obilke was admitted to the children's emergency department for acute meningoencephalitis as a result of a complication following mumps. As you um, can see in the video, wherever I marked with the red ink, so this is important point. So whenever you will read the question paper, you have to underline in the same way. So the today's date is important, patient name what is the diagnosis and how it's happened next one patient's history address 32 extern street equipping and the phone number is given we need date of birth 23 may 28 2008 sorry admitted 15th july 2012 gender is male so these all we have to underline while you read the question before going to write the letter Next points, discharged 25th July 2012, it's important. Country of birth, Sudan, diagnosis, acute meningoencephalitis. Social history, parents, Mary and Abdullah Obeke. They are refugees arrived in Australia in 2012. Employment, Abdullah is a golden circle, an apple factory, shift worker. Mary is housewife. Accommodation, recently moved to rental accommodation. They don't have family doctor. So this is important. Sibling, two-year-old brother, Saith. Language, Dinka and Arabic. Interpreter needs. Abdullah understands spoken English but has limited written skills. Miri has limited understanding of English. Abdullah attends English classes. So they need an interpreter. Medical history. Parents state that both children had some kind of vaccination at birth. But the vaccination record has been lost. Parents are unaware of vaccination for months so we have underlined important things then the discharge plan is appears to have fully recovered from mumps and acute meningoencephalitis will need advice on recommended vaccines for both children so here uh, this is exceptional letter because we in uh, i mean in the recommendation paragraph we have to include both babies we need neurological checkup for our baby and the writing task is using the information in the case note, write a letter to the director, Community Child Health Service, 41 John Street, equipment requesting follow-up of this family. So by from the writing task itself, you can see that follow-up of this family, not only for the patient, this is for complete family. So this is the question paper. Let us see how we have to um uh, the how we have to start writing the letter. So whenever you will um, get you will get the question paper, the first thing you have to see the writing task note from the starting to the end. First you have to see the writing task. That means using the information in the case note, write a letter to the director, community child health service, 41 John Street, equipment requesting follow up of this family. From this, you can understand that this is a referral letter and the letter is directed to the director, community child health service, 41 John. This is not a known case, it is unknown case, only the referral letter and the requirement. From here, we can, from the writing task, we can come to know to whom we are writing, for what we are writing. So for what we are writing, we are requesting follow up of this family. Then we will come to the starting point. We will mark everything and especially whenever we will come to the recommendation part, you have to mark it differently like with the tick mark or with the star or anything which will help you to uh, easily you can find out the only the recommendation things. Whenever you will write, you are going to write the recommendation paragraph, you will not get confusion. Only you have to uh, check out only this tick mark and the star marks. So here we have to put the tick mark on advice on recommended vaccines for both children and will need the neurological checkup. So we have only two recommendations in this letter. I hope you have understood how to read the question and how to mark up the important points. So these are all relevant points. Then let us see the letter. Date and address 25 July 2009. Address the director Community Child Health Service, 41 John Street, Equipment. 
let us see the introduction paragraph i am writing to refer vomio obeki so this is a refer letter so we'll write i am writing to refer patient name vomio obeki reason present medical condition who is recovering from acute meningoencephalitis here no need to write mums because patient already completed the mums and now the reason present medical condition means the patient is recovering from acute meningoencephalitis and most of the children will get confusion here then the requirement he and his brother so as i told you in the writing task this is for the family not for only the patient so he and his brother side require here we should not write requires that is for the one patient this is for two patients so require follow up this is hyphenated follow up of their immunization program and uh, discharge uh, status he is said to be discharged today so i think it's clear i am writing to refer vamaya ubeki who is recovering from acute meningoencephalitis he and his brother side require follow up of their immunization program he is said to be discharged today next paragraph is a present medical history that means from the admission until now at the time of uh, writing the letter what are the things is happen during hospitalization so here we have to write uh, from the admission date and what are the things is happen and actually this is not an uh, hospital hospital scenario but it is related to the vaccination uh, history what are the things they missed why it's happened what is the um, relevant data for the referral these are the things that will come here so we can write like this uh, here uh, this is baby so you have to write the first name of baby not the surname vamiya was admitted on 15 july 2009 with the compliance of mums which progresses to the diagnosis his hospitalization was uneventful so nothing is there to be written here regarding the hospitalization his parents state that they are unaware about vaccination program and got confused about their children's vaccination status as they lost their baby's vaccination records in addition baby is not have a family doctor this may be the reason for his refer so in most of the lectures except community health nurses letter this conclusion the last conclusion it is effective uh, by uh, by reading it is very clear that why we are writing the letter to the why we are writing letter to the reader so here omia was admitted on 15 july 2019 uh, regarding the i mean the with the compliance of mums and everything is gone um, now he is fully recovered from mums and now he is um, recovering from the um acute meningitis and cephalitis and the problem here is his parents doesn't know regarding the vaccination program and about their babies both the both babies vaccination status it's in, uh, it's unclear because they lost the card and the main problem is they don't have a family doctor in australia so there is uh, support services from the community health um, director is essential here so we can write like this in addition they does not have a family doctor this may be the reason for his referral so i hope it's clear here one more point i forgot to tell you uh, his hospitalization was uneventful and completely recovered from mumps and actually he is recovering from meningo acute meningo encephalitis but he recovered from mumps so once again i will read for you vamaya was admitted on 15 july 20 2009 with the compliance of mums which progresses to the diagnosis his hospitalization was uneventful and completely recovered from mums his parents states that they are unaware about vaccination program and got confused about their children's vaccination status as they lost their baby's vaccination records in addition they does not have a family doctor this may be the reason for his referral next we will see the social history um here we will just write the personal history first then related to the family uh here for the babies there is nothing to be write uh, for medical uh, disease condition or nothing like that so vamaya lives with his brother and parents who migrated recently to australia from sudan they lives in a rental accommodation and depends on their father's earnings his parents have only basic knowledge in english thus they require an interpreter uh, related to the doctor we have mentioned already in the present medical paragraph so here no need 
So just mummy at least with his brother and parents who migrated recently to Australia. Just we are some up here uh, to get the help for an interpreter. That's all. They live in a rental accommodation and depends on their father's earnings. His parents have only basic knowledge in English. They could not communicate effectively with others. So they need an interpreter. We could not use the connective so. Um, so here, here we have to write this instead of that. The last paragraph is a recommendation paragraph. As we saw before, there are only two recommendations we have to mention here. Kindly arrange a neurological checkup. Checkup is hyphenated word for WOMEA and provide supportive services. It would be appreciated if you could educate his parents regarding complete immunization program for both children. So this is simple and humble recommendation. So first one. Uh, the important thing for the patient, uh, how to arrange a neurological checkup. Second one, we have to give, they have to give uh, arrangement, I mean, uh, the education for the parents regarding the complete immunization program, not only for the patient, but also for the brother. So kindly arrange a neurological checkup for Mamiya and provide supportive services. It would be appreciated if you could educate his parents regarding complete immunization program for both children. For your information, I would like to tell you that uh, in the update, it would be greatly appreciated, which has been removed. Now, we have to write, it would be appreciated. Greatly, please don't write greatly. It would be appreciated. That's all. Conclusion paragraph is same for all letters. Please do not hesitate to contact me if you have any queries. Here, the reader name is not given, so we have to write faithfully. You was faithfully registered us. I hope it was clear for you. Until now, please try to write simple and in a humble way. Thanks for watching.